The agenda for today is going to be the welcome, or the reflection, the emotional content. Uh, we are going to have a summer rising, singing a song, time to read. We are going to finish American Indians, and we are going to study the superlatives. We are going to watch a video, and you have to get the student resource book, and practice book, and finally the ending. This is going to be our agenda. Uh, we are going to continue with our reflection. Hello my dear students, welcome again to my English classes. Today we are going to learn a lot. Um, today is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. Uh, we are going to learn a lot. We are going to continue studying. And I will explain about the evaluated activity that we are going to have the next week. And let's start. On the emotional content, we are going to watch a video. Of it talks and it's going to help us to understand better about the honesty. We have to be honest. When we play, when we made the homework assignment, etc., we have to be honest. Let's watch the video. Well, how I said before, we have to be honest. If we play, if we do a homework assignment, every action that we make, we have to be honest because the honesty, um, it helps us to be on peace with others. Well, we are going to continue with our class. Uh, let's continue with our reflection. The reflection for today is going to talk about our, our, our goals, our themes. And it says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. We don't have to think about the problems. We don't have to think about uh, much problems that we have or, or difficulties that we have. We have to think about the beautiful things that we have, the beautiful moments that we have with our family. It's very important to say that we have a lot of reasons to be happy because we have our family, uh, we have a sister, we have a brother, we have our father, we have our mother. Um, each time to be to be unit with our family, to join with our, with our family. Well, this is the reflection. Uh, after we watch the video about the emotional content, and we are gonna continue with our son. Thank you. Let's continue. Well, we continue after our reflection, after we watch the video, after the summarizing. We are going to continue with our son, Take Me Up to the Ball Game. You know, page 102, Reading Packs. Remember that the class always is going to begin with our reading son, our reading patch son on this case, because we are uh, we already finished the unit number three is the son from the unit number three. After we finish the unit four, we are going to continue with the son from unit number four. And let's listen and let's try to sing. We are uh, learning to sing this song or we are singing this song by three weeks. It's time to you try to do it alone. Remember that the song is going to help us to pronounce better our English, to pronounce better our words. 
This is gonna help you to the pronunciation. It's gonna help you to a speaking skill. Well, let's continue with the reading. Today we are gonna read the page 42, 43, sorry, 44, 45, and 46. We are gonna continue learning about the history of the United States. Well, thank you so much. It's time to, to check it out the, the reading about American Indians. Uh, the pages, sorry, here. The pages that we are going to develop one more time. I will write here 46, 47, and 48 reading parts. But it's time to check it out the meaning of the words irrigation, trade, and reservation. And we are going to uh, find the last one that is heritage. Ir irrigation. What is irrigation meaning of? It says, human-made system to supply water to grow crops. What is the meaning of trade? Let's find it. It says, bought or sold by making an exchange. Reservation, reservation. Listen, reservation. Reservation. Lands set aside by the federal government for Native Americans to live on. That was a stall. It was a thief. The last one is going to be heritage. Let's find heritage. It's something passed down through the generations. For example, the customs, um, the belief, our heritage. Well, we are going to continue with our reading pages 46, 47, 48. In the next class, we are going to finish the last page of reading. And we are going to continue with the reading exercises. Let's listen. American Indians. Weapons from bones, hooves, and horns. Some plains tribes made bull boats. These round boats were made of bison skin pulled over a frame of branches. They were used to carry bison meat and other items down rivers. Well, listen, page 46. Native Americans of the Southwest. The American Southwest includes parts of southern Utah and Colorado. It also covers areas of Arizona and New Mexico. Some areas are made canyons and cliffs. Other parts are flat deserts. The climate is very hot and dry. Southwest tribes lived in villages. Some built their houses in the sides of cliffs. Others used adobe bricks to build homes. Adobe is a mixture of sand, clay, and straw. It dries in the sun to harden. Some tribes built hogans. Hogans were rounded structures made of logs or stones. They were covered with dirt and mud. There was one that always faced east toward the sun. Some Southwest tribes moved from place to place as things changed. They traveled by foot in small groups called bands. Bands hunted and gathered food to bring back to the villages. Southwest tribes looked for ways to for their crops. They developed irrigation systems. They dug ditches to bring water from the lakes or rivers to their fields. They were able to grow foods like squash and beans. Some tribes grew as many as 24 different kinds of corn. Native Americans of the Southwest were skilled in crafts. They would weave cloth from the cotton plants they grew. Then they used the cloth to make clothes. Other Southwestern tribes made clothing from animal skins. Some created many beautiful pieces of art. They sculpted pottery from clay. Some tribes, they added turquoise and other gemstones, baskets and rugs by hand. The last page. Native Americans of the California Intermountain Region. The California. the California Native Americans lived between the Rocky Mountains and the Sierra Nevada. These people were gatherers and hunters. Their main foods included wild plants, seeds, nuts, and fish. They lived in large communities. 
Their houses were round frames covered with grass and arranged in groups. They were skillful basket makers. The Intermountain Native Americans Great Basin between Cornia and the Rocky Mountains. They hunted antelope, birds, and deer, and they also ate roots. The population in this area was smaller and was constantly moving. Their homes were temporary structures made out of willow branches leaned together with bundles of branches, twigs, and reeds to cover them. These people were also skillful basket makers. Men wore loincloths. The women wore short skirts made of fibers and sometimes deer skin. Well, we already listened to three pages. Yeah. Page 46. I will say the question you can type on the chat. It is very important to you chat. And remember that I am that I am on the chat and I will say the name of people that is typing the correct answer. Well, page 46, reading comprehension questions, it says. Reading comprehension questions. Page 46 is going to be about beginning level. What is the climate like in the American Southwest? Or what is the weather like in the American Southwest? It was cold, hot. What is the climate? Please. Well, I have to tell you that this tribe, Native American of the Southwest, they were similar, similar to us. They have a lot of sim similarities. How do you say? Well, we are the same like them, or we look like the same because you know they were near of Mexico areas like Arizona or New Mexico, and when you see this area, they have a desert. Desert on this desert, the the climate or the weather is very hot. Thank you so much. Well, page forty-seven. How many different types of corn did some tribes grow? How many different types of corn they had? They had 24 different kinds of corn, thank you. And the last one is going to be a question for Native American of the California Intermountain region. It says, what the intermountain native americans eat what did they eat page a on 40a the native american of california intermountain region what do they eat what did they eat ah they hunted antelope bears and deer and they also ate roots Imagine when they didn't have meat to eat, they ate roots. Well, people, we are going to continue with our class. Remember that we are going to watch a video to continue on. To continue with our class, we are going to remember the summarizing for the last class that is that was comparative rules. In this case, is going to help us to superlative. In comparative, we use er, and in superlative, est, and it's the same rule. One syllable, we are going to add est. One syllable ending in est. One syllable consonant plus short vowel, vowel plus consonant EST, the biggest. We add the consonant and we add EST. Two syllables in the in Y, we change the letter Y by I EST. Two or more, the must, no more, the must. And common exceptions, good, the best, bad, the worst. But it's time to continue with our class and we are going to remember some um, vocabulary we were learning the last class remember that the last class we made fitness we made fitness and uh, we have the flashcard here that we have to use in um, in our unit like this forearm forearm Bicep, bicep, ankle, ankle. It, it, it's, it sounds like uncle, uncle, but this is ankle. 
bricks, in this case pools, pools. We, we later have to take the pools the last class. Blood vessels, when we fill the, the, the pools because we fill the blood vessel. These are vessels and all connected to our hair. A wrist, this is the wrist, wrist. Neck, neck. Fever, fever. Brain, brain. And finally, pain. Well, this was the vocabulary for the last class. And today we are going to start with another content that is superlatives. Superlatives are similar to the comparatives, but that, as I said before, we are using EST. And we have three blister, blisters. And we have Red Dog, Mighty Mai, and Dynamo. And they are fermor breaster and look at the characteristics for them. Um, dynamo is one meter seventy five centimeters, one and seventy five meters. One and ninety meters is rigged out and one and sixty five meters is naurimai. We are gonna do this because I want to check and we are gonna complete the exercises about superlatives. As you can see, the number of fans is famous, is the most famous dynamo. And the less famous is Mighty Mai. And how many um, champions or how many cups they have? How many prizes? As you can see, he has three prizes, he has two prizes, and he only had one. Well, look at here. It says, read, look, and write the names. It's the heaviest raster. It's the heaviest raster. Look at this. 105 kilograms, 99, and 120. On this case, red dog is the heaviest raster. Red dog is the heaviest raster. In other words, in Spanish it says, um, Red Dog es el luchador más pesado. Estamos hablando de superlativos. Tenemos que fijarnos en los datos. We are going to check it out the facts. The tallest raster. Look at the tallest, the tallest. Who's the tallest? Oh, well, again, Red Dog is the tallest raster. The most popular raster, most popular. Red Dynamo is the most popular raster. The best raster. Look at this. The best. Red Dynamo is the best raster. And the last one, words. Woo, boo, the words. Um, Mighty Mai is the world raster. What are you going to do? It says, you have to invent a raster. You can use your uh, attach, your stickers, the student resource book, exercise 3B. And you have to complete this one. You have a lot of material there. You can do it at your home. Remember that this is similar to our um, comparatives. But in this case, we are talking about superlative. In comparative, you are comparing two, two models. On this case, is the must. Es el más. Uh, next page. Next page. We have page number 41. It says sport trivia. Sun Ming Ming from China. It's 2 and 30 meters tall. He is the basketball player in the world. Tallest, heaviest, youngest, most successful. All this are most expensive. Tallest, very good. Tallest, he played in NBA. Gareth Bale is the soccer player ever. Real Madrid pay 100, 1 and 20 million euros for him. Oh, look at this. Not tallest because we use it here. Heaviest, youngest, successful, oldest, or expensive. Most expensive, most expensive soccer. The football player in the NFL history weighed 
186 kilograms. His name is Aaron Gibson, 186 kilograms. And this case is very fat. On this case, it's gonna be heaviest, the heaviest, heaviest. Dimitrius Londras was 10 years old when he competed as a gymnast in the 1896 Athens Olympics. He was the youngest, youngest athlete in Olympic history, el más joven en participar en los Juegos Olímpicos. The athlete to win an Olympic medal was Swedish shorter Oscar Swan. He was 72 years old when he won his sixth Olympic medal. The oldest, el más atleta más viejo en ganar una medalla olímpica fue el sueco shooter Oscar Swan. Él tenía 72 años cuando ganó su sexta medalla olímpica. And the last one, the athlete in Olympic history was Larissa Latinina, a Russian gymnast. She competed in three Olympic Games and won 18 medals. On this case, it's going to be the most successful. Well, look at these people. This one you are going to do alone. Esto lo harás tú solito en casa. Quiero que te fijes en las estadísticas, en estos numeritos. Te voy a hablar en español para que lo entendamos. Vamos a ver. Dice, lee el cuadrito y marca con un cheque las oraciones verdaderas. Solo las oraciones verdaderas. Clara, Clark es, el, es alto como Green. Busquemos a Clark. ¿Dónde está Clara? ¿Where is Clara? Víctor Clara. Altura. Altura, peso, edad y puntos por juego. En altura, Clara tiene 1.68. Y Green tiene 1.68. ¿Es cierta esa oración o no es cierta? Yes, it's true. Walton is heavy as Cox. Heavy, wey. Cox, 70. En Walton... 68 is not true, no check, no check. Well, you are gonna do up your home, but I want to you check it out this video. It says that we have to watch a video here, video number five. Tenemos que ver un video, el número cinco. Dependiendo de este video, tú contestarás tu student research book. Let's find the video and watch it. It talks about physical education. It's very important, the physical education, because we learned a lot. And we make fitness. And we are going to be healthy if we do physical education. Let's watch the video. Girls and sport. PE classes are as much a part of school as maths and English. But, just like maths or English, not all students like PE. It's really difficult because obviously you're feeling really self-conscious at that time, like wearing clothes that you don't like and same as the boys and they're really good at the sport and then you're not as good and it can just make you feel horrible. If you're not feeling comfortable and then you're not as good at the sport, it's just not fair. A recent study asked 1,500 children what they think of fitness and PE. 45% of the girls said sport was too competitive and 48% felt that getting hot and sweaty was not feminine. In fact, only 12% of 14-year-old girls are getting enough exercise, which is half the number of boys of the same age. When you're growing up, your health and fitness is what keeps you going and keeps you motivated. Um, and we know as PE teachers, our jobs at the end of the day, if our kids continue doing some kind of sport when they leave here, we've done our job. So, how to keep students who don't like PE, and particularly girls, doing sport. The report shows that three quarters of girls do want to be more active. But if competitive sports aren't the answer, then what is? 
At Kesgrave, one option is dance. And suddenly, the girls seem to like their PE classes much better than before. I don't like my physical appearance, but I change that by dancing because I don't care about what other people think when I'm dancing. I just care about how I'm showing other people how I can dance. And it's not always about how you look. And if boys want to take the mickey because you look different when you dance, and just because you get a little bit hot and sweaty, it doesn't matter because you're showing that you're working hard to something that you want to achieve. This could be the best idea yet. But there is another problem, a lack of role models for girls in sport. The fact that men's sport dominates British sport in a way that it doesn't in quite the same way in American sport or Australian sport, that does present an additional challenge. So girls and boys still grow up thinking that sport is, is cooler for boys than it is girls, or that being sporty is unfeminine. So those are particularly British challenges. Exercise makes our hearts stronger and more efficient. It's time we do more to ensure that a greater number of girls begin to practice sport and enjoy their PE classes. Well, this was the video for the student resource book. Remember that we have, we are completing this book. Um, you have to complete the last um, period. We learned about. Uh, Christopher Columbus and here we are learning about PE and what is PE uh, physical education we have to change the the way that we made the physical education and it's only sports you can dance also you know, in some years the the dancing is gonna be a sport too well we are gonna continue with our practice book thank you so much well and finally we are gonna study our practice book it's very important to check it out this chart because this is going to help us to understand better what is the difference between an adjective, an adjective, a comparative and superlative. Tall, taller, the tallest. Good, mm -hmm. be better, the best, better, the best. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Yeah. You are going to complete related with the class that we have been learning by three weeks ago. And here you have to check it out the, the, the facts of these three people and you are going to write the superlative. Sal has the three shortest hair. The shortest hair. Sad because he doesn't have here the tallest. Who's tallest? What do you think? Ah, Sad is the tallest. Yeah? Sad is the tallest. And here is going to be about our class, but on this case, you can do it. You can do it with your family. Also, this information is going to be about our family and about our things. Family and things. For example, the smallest thing that I have is my cell phone, for example, yeah? The biggest, my car, etc. In this case, the youngest, my baby, my, my daughter. The oldest, me. I am the oldest of my house. And finally, you have to scroll out this chart, these facts, and you are gonna, you are gonna write the sentences. Um, very important, when I use destiny as, is as old as Kyle. Destiny es tan mayor como Kyle. O sea, es igual. Esto es igual, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Yeah? Well, thank you so much. If you have a question, I will be here and you can ask me. Bye bye. See you soon and blessings, people. Blessings to all your family. I am praying for you. Oro por todos nosotros todos los días. Thank you so much. Ben